Half Niper here, and we are on the range again today. Today we're going to be going back to testing the Hornady, uh, the Hornady 147 grain ELDM and Hodgkin H, <coughs> pardon me, H4831. We're going to be going back to where we ended up last time. We're going to be starting at 53.5 and go back up to 54.0 because we had good groups and good numbers at both of those, and we're going to see if we can tighten it up in one-tenth of a grain increment. So sit back, kick your feet up, enjoy the ride. Okay, so we are back to our little dots. We got four 3 8 inch dots there. We're going to be starting at 53.5. Then we'll shoot 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and 0.8 today. And we'll see if they start to tighten up. See if we get tighter or looser as we increase our charge. We know 53.5 shot well. We know 54.0 shot well. Well well enough because I had a dud primer at 53.0 or pardon me 54.0 because we only got two shots in but it was two shots one hole so all I gotta do is get the target camera going and we'll run back to the 100 yard shooting line and start swinging bullets well perhaps run was a little bit of a over enthusiastic uh, comment we'll just walk at a good pace running's for people who can't shoot a little more accuracy juice kind of a crisp morning this morning it was uh, probably like 38 degrees when I left the house it's uh, it's warming up nicely now but in the shadows in the shade here it's still got a bit of a crisp bite to it so we stopped with 4831 at 54.0 grains we had a dud primer but we put two shots in one hole 53.5 gave us a good group, gave us pretty reasonable numbers uh, as far as extreme spread and standard deviation. So we're going to go back to 53.5 and we're going to work our way towards 54.3, I think. But today we're only going to go to 53.8, time constraints and all. Um, we got a little bit of a head-on breeze, but we are ready to go. Target camera is running. Y'all are running. I see the little red light blinking. And we'll see how things go. See if we find anything that's even better in between the two. And when I say between the two, I mean 53.5 and 54.0. And that target camera is like right in the line of fire. Okay, 53.5. We'll be shooting that on the left hand dot, the dot that's marked 5. <sighs> 28.41. Which, as I recall, I think it was shooting about 2850. 28.76. It seemed to have given a little bit extra tug on that trigger that time. Brass is still coming out cool. 28.94. So 53.5 today. 
in this cool temperature has given us an average of 2870, which is kind of what I expected because I believe the lady in the box gave us 2850. The Garmin seems to read a little bit higher because it's picking the bullet up closer off the muzzle. Our extreme spray was 51, our standard deviation was 21. I thought we had better numbers than that last time, but that could be, maybe I wasn't quite as careful loading this time, who knows. But 2870 for an average. And I haven't said it for a while, but for all the new shooter, new, new shooters, new viewers, my rifle here is a bargain basement Howa 1500 that I picked up from Brownells as a barreled action. I stuck it in a Oryx chassis and I put a Vortex Viper PST mill mill scope on there. By mill mill I mean it's in milliradians. It's not MOA. I have a uh, Thunder Beast brake on here for my Thunder Beast suppressor, which I cannot use in this state, so it has to live out of state. But I use it when I'm out of state. And other than that, there's nothing else done to this gun. It is a stock Hawa action in a Oryx chassis. Still running the stock factory trigger. And we will continue now with 53.6 grains of H4831. I just got a friend right there. There's my other ear. And also for those who others have asked in the chat the magazine for this, I contacted MDT to verify. For the 6.5 PRC, you need the AICS 300 Win Mag 3.175 inch magazine. And that works perfect in this rifle. Okay, this will be 53.6. 53.6 grains of 4831. Pushing the 147 ELDM. Twenty nine ten. Did I grab the right? I did. I don't understand why it went to twenty nine ten. Hmm. Twenty nine oh seven. Twenty nine oh four. You know what? And as I recall now, I was thinking I was getting a little rambunctious on the trigger there with all three of those because they were going high. But as I recall, fifty three point five and fifty four point oh were hitting up in the numbers I had written above the dots. So I'm not concerned about that anymore. Okay, 53.6 gave us an extreme spread, or pardon me, an average of 2907, an extreme spread of 6.9, and a standard deviation of 2.8. Pretty good numbers. Can't tell much about the group from here. That may be one that we play with, start adjusting the uh, seating depth. Let me reset and we'll shoot the next one. If there was a little alcohol in here, it'd be group tightener, but this is just accuracy juice. Black coffee from the filling station. Well, those first two groups look pretty good. Target camera's running good. The breeze is picking up a little bit. And we will continue with 53.7. I'm glad I realized and remembered that 
first time we tested it, they were hitting high up in the numbers. So perhaps I didn't help that trigger on that first shot. Okay, 53.7 is literally directly over the target camera. Good thing it's hitting high. Twenty nine eleven. Twenty nine oh nine. Almost looks like a same whole group going. Yeah, I jerked the crap out of that one. Probably see my whole hand go like that. 29.14, I'm very disappointed in myself. Ruined a good group. Breast is looking good. Average 29.12, extreme spread 5, standard deviation 2.4. Group is ugly because I jerked the trigger. Remember kids, don't jerk the trigger. Okay, last group for the day will be 53.8. And hopefully I don't jerk the trigger anymore. Okay, 53.8, pushing the 147 grain Hornady ELDM. Don't jerk the trigger. Twenty nine oh six. Twenty nine eighteen. Brass is looking good. I've been shooting this Hornady brass for over a year now. This is probably the, probably close to the 12th loading on this brass. This rifle is easy on the brass. Okay, our average, 29, 12.9. Our extreme spread was 11.8 and our standard deviation was 4.9. And, eh, a little bit bigger than I thought. Okay, let me run down, we'll go get that target, and we'll measure them out. Alrighty, well let's take a, take us a look at this target now that I've measured things out. 53.5 gave us a .564 inch group. And we were at like 28.70. Just over 2,900, 53.6 gave us a 0 .590 inch group. I want to say we were 2,915-ish. But this is the group that I jerked the trigger on. Bad. We might have to retest 53.7 in the future. We'll see. Remember, don't jerk the trigger. And then 53.8 gave us a 0 0.741 inch group. And what's interesting is triangle group, triangle group, 
a flat group and a flat group again. So we're getting a little bit of dispersion left and right, but not up and down. Hmm. Interesting. Good thing we got four more to test on another day. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to conclude, our conclude our testing for today. Next time out, we'll pick up at 53.9. We'll shoot 53.9. 54, 54.1, and for whatever reason, and I don't know why, I didn't do a 51.2, I went to a 51.3. I think my original intention was to shoot at three tenths of a grain difference, and uh, thought about it a little bit, and I went to tenth of a grain, so that's probably why that's one off. Other than me jerking the crap out of the trigger, I got no complaints. The groups were all pretty good, except for the one I jerked the trigger on. And uh, velocities and extreme spread and standard deviation were all looking good. I still can't believe I waited so long to actually test 4831 once I shot the uh, starting load. No explanation. I don't know. I don't know what. It just. Psh. Oh, look at that powder. I haven't done anything with it yeah okay as always half mile sniper reminding you stay strapped or get clapped carry everywhere you can get a ccw if you need one Constitu constitutional carry states get a ccw anyways because you may travel i hope you're enjoying this i'm having fun i think i'm zeroing in on the load that i want to try to start reaching out and touching at distance and uh one of these loads will be the load that we shoot for a mile. Once again, everybody's a hero at the 7-yard line shirt. They're available. And uh, I think i got another shirt I'll be coming up with. And it's that reminder that I always told people at the academy. Run-ins for people who can't shoot. So we'll see, what, we'll see if I make anything out of that. Until next time, thank you for watching, liking, commenting subscribing if you haven't and while i'm thinking about it since i got a couple of emails about it double check your subscription a couple of my a couple of you viewers got unsubscribed without you knowing about it thanks for bringing it to my attention so i can remind you all to double check your subscription make sure you're still subscribed if you haven't been getting notifications okay y'all stay safe keep shooting we'll catch you next time Send it. Hit.